myself before the three heads of Umungene Kingdom. Please do come inside. Uh, Belinda, we bring you an important message. And it is one that must be delivered standing. It is not just a message. It is an important instruction from the three heads of the three major clans of Umungene. You are the one betrothed to the crown prince of the land. Based on what has happened, you must reconsider that position with the utmost urgency and importance it demands. Yes. Um, I, I'm confused. What are you telling me? You must not proceed with plans to marry Prince Gedinubo. Yes. What? What have I done? You've done nothing wrong, my dear. This is just for your good. Truth is, the prince can no longer be trusted with the throne of Umungere or anything that had to do with politics in this kingdom. By the kind of politics he has decided to start playing, he has become an enemy of the people. And we, the elders, we have decided to cut him into sight. Is this about kingdom politics? I, I love the prince and I love him dearly and, and all I want is just to be a wife. One who does not interfere in the politics of Umungene Kingdom. It has everything to do with you, my dear. Because you are a daughter of Umungene. Our daughter. If you ignore this warning and continue seeing the prince, you will not only lose your relevance in Umungene Kingdom, you will be removed from women's assembly. And we will make sure women excommunicate you from even basic interactions. Is it that serious? Very, very serious. A child who decides to attack the unknown must know that the weapons of the unknown are unknown. That is why they are unknown. Aju aju weli na kpata ya ya wem. Ife okenye tu kwa na fu mata kuroto mamfu na te. Now listen. Afu ikugu na ibu okenye. Ma ibu anago na ibu mata utu afu ibu. We are free. Oh, 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 I am My love, what have you done? Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can you kill it? Can I put us in an Ndolo, my very good friend. Eh? Sincerely, I must tell you Ndolo, that you worry yourself. My prince, why are you not taking me seriously? The rumor is everywhere. The three elders who are the village heads of our three major clans that oversee the affairs of other smaller villages are out to get you disqualified. Why are you not bothered? What makes you think that anyone can strip me of my inheritance on the way? What gives you that impression? That is not possible. Ikedinibu, do you even know these elders? Yes, I know. I know all three of them, but I'm also in the position to give you the confirmation that may make you relaxed. I am the heir to the throne of Umungene Kingdom and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Maybe there is. See, I am suggesting you do something like calling them for a meeting you need to confront those elders. Sitting back here in the palace and doing nothing is not an option. I have made up my mind. It's for the and the Why are you not talking? What do they come to say? Mother. I'm very confused. I don't understand why the elders were threatening me to stay away from the prince. Is that what they said? I am confused. 
summed it up with a proverb I am still struggling to understand. Which proverb is that? Let me quote him. A child who decides to attack the unknown mm -hmm. must know that the weapons of the unknown are unknown. That is why they are the unknown. Mother, what does that mean? Hey. Are you... Are you sure the prince has not committed an abomination? Mom, how can you say a thing like that? Because those men are not ordinary elders. Because those men wield a lot of respect and power in Umungene Kingdom. For them to summon courage to come and tell you. <laughs> that means there's a problem. There's no problem, mother. And they came to order you to stop nursing the thought of marrying the prince? Linda. <laughs> hey. Well, let's wait for your father to return. To me, something is wrong. Already wrong somewhere. Father, I don't get it. You will trust me when I tell you that I know why the rumor is making the rounds. I have made my intentions now to these elders. There are key elements of our tradition that I intend to bring back. But you see, liars and men who sit on abominations would not be happy will not be comfortable with it. And that is why they fight. Hmm? And you are going to sit back and allow them bring on the fight? Ah, please don't do this, my friend. Try and push them back before they force you into defensive. <laughs> the one who makes my work, Ali Changwa. Kedu, how are you? Belinda, 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 calm down. Calm, calm down, calm down, calm down. All right, listen, I want you to remain calm. Okay? I'll be with you shortly. Yes, I'll be on my way right away. What happened? That must be your fiancé. Um, Undeloy, I'm sorry that we'll have to cut this meeting short, but I promise you that you and I would have to sit down again so that um, we can round off this stuff that I have to run now. <laughs> Why they would do this? These men are not serious. They're not serious at all. Even if they have a problem with me, they have no right whatsoever to smuggle it into my personal life. Okay. What problem do you have with them? I don't know exactly, but I am hoping that it's not what I suspect. Talk to me. What are you suspecting? I want you to promise me that all of this going on will not get you agitated. I am already agitated. You need to hear the proverbs they used on me. I, I didn't even understand half of what they were saying. Forget the elders and forget the proverbs. I'll handle them. I promise you that I shall get to the root of this. 
and take care of it. But you have to be careful. You have to stay careful because we don't even know what they are planning. I'll be safe. Okay, come here. I have to go now, I have things to take care of, okay? Sweetheart, let me go. I have to take care of things, okay? Look at me. You know that I will always love you, right? Let your father know that I was here. Send him my warm regards. Okay? Okay? My warm regards to him. We'll be fine. You can go inside. I'll take care of things, I promise you. Come on. Go in while I watch. <laughs> Sweetheart, we'll be fine. You have to trust me. Hmm? Okay? Hmm? I have to go. I have made up my mind. My brother told me he would not be going out today. So what happened? I don't know my princess. He was outside with him to let then he left. He left? Hey! You really saw my very beautiful sister. Eh? Waiting by prince. Dialo. Asandinze. The most beautiful princess of whom on the other My lovely sister. Eh? The one in whom I am well pleased. You are looking. Beautiful. Thank you so much, my brother. But you are praising me to hide something. I'm sure of that. That's not true. There is nothing to hide. Uh -uh. I know you. I know this face very well. Now tell me, what is it? My lovely sister. Your brother has had a very hectic day. He's just tired. I've just returned home so that I can retire early to my room. By the way, I know how you love to look after me. So when the meal is ready, let them know that they can bring it to my room. Eh? It's fine. Other than that, I'm good. Brother of mine. Asanze. <laughs> Our sons, uh, you look elegant. Thank you. Our sons, uh, he is retiring so early to bed. What seems to be the problem? Look good. What happened? Dad won't even let me discuss anything. He won't let me discuss the topic. He says he's tired this night. Is that why you look this angry? Tomorrow will soon be here. And he will listen to you and definitely do something about it. But mom, he sounded like he already knew what I wanted to talk about. He won't even let me speak. Because he is tired like he said. Tomorrow, go to bed. No, Louis. 
quite early. Of no problem. My prince, I am not. I came here because I am a concerned friend. Um, I tried to reach you all through the night, but your number was not available. Oh yes, it's still switched off. And it's on purpose. A call came through um, from one of the elders yesterday and I was not in the mood to answer his questions, so I turned off my phone. And it's going to remain that way until I get a chance to speak to the people that I want to meet today. Oh. Um, what happened with Belinda yesterday? Hmm. Would you believe me if I told you that the elders visited Belinda yesterday and gave her a strict warning to stay away from me? Ha! Ah, Ndulue. A battle line has been drawn between Prince Ike Dinebo and the elders of Umungene Kingdom. Um, my prince. These people are looking for my trouble. Um, my prince, calm down. This is indeed a serious matter. Could you be lenient enough to explain to me what happened? I mean, was it the ghost that rejected you or what? The gods cannot reject him who they have named king. I am the crown prince of Omongane Kingdom. I cannot be rejected. I like to think that this whole thing started when I told Zechijoke about my plans to restore the ancient process of installing anyone who is interested in becoming a member of the prestigious Zenozo group in our land. So, my prince, I must tell you, everybody in Umungene kingdom is proud of you. And I, I believe your father, the late king, will be at rest wherever he is. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm also very happy that um, all necessary rights um, associated with the burial of the king was properly carried out. And my father properly laid to rest. I am indeed very happy. <laughs> Prince Ike mm -hmm. You have this strong respect for our custom and tradition. And I must tell you, I am of no doubt that you will make a greater and better king than your father. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the kind words. You're I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, culture and tradition is our way. We're Africans. Uh, it is the way that our forefathers lived, and it was peaceful. Yeah, of course, yes. You see, and that is why I have decided to restore the ancient practice of Ekamani Lake. Making a mark on the tongue of the initiate for anyone who indicates interest in becoming a member of the prestigious Zenozo group. That would be my first assignment once I become king. But, but why? Why will you do that? Why not? Of course, everybody knows that Umungene Kingdom has far grown beyond past that era of, our, uh, of this uh, unholy uh, initiation. You can't do it. See, even your father did not uphold that, that, that fetish uh, belief and did not put it into practice. So. Why all of a sudden you wake up and begin to nurse that plan? Or uh, have you backslided as a Christian? Let me ask you, why do we still perform all the rites associated with the passing of a king? Tradition is tradition, it's our way. You see, Nzenozo has nothing to do with Christianity. That is the line that I want to draw. Zenozo is older than Christianity. You know. Hmm? As we do not interfere 
with the knighthood process of the church. The church and Christianity must not interfere with our cultural and traditional heritage of Onzenozo. Mm. Now you can see, you have really made your <laughs> research. It is not about research. <laughs> it is a glaring truth that we have chosen to ignore for so long and then we're dealing with its consequences. But I tell you this, things shall not continue that way in my land. Immediately I emerge king. My prince, I, I, would, I would rather be going. Thank you for stopping by. Eh? So I believe that that is the foundation of the problem. This whole thing, because after that, um, the elders, mainly the three elders um, that had the three major clans of Umonge, for some reason, have become cold towards me. Mm. So what is this ancient practice of Nzenozo? Ah, I wonder, Louis. You see, Nzenozo is an establishment, an institution which, apart from the prestige that it confers on members, was created for the administration of justice. In the original times, anyone who wants to become a member of the prestigious Zenozo in Umungene would have to stand on the Umume of Umungene. And a cut would be made on his tongue. And the blood from that cut must drop on the stone upon which he stands. That is how it is done. Ah, my prince, don't you think this is really fetish? <laughs> this is a hidden practice, you know. Omungene is one of the many towns practicing Christianity now. To the best of my knowledge, you are from a Christian family. Your father, the late king, was a Catholic member. Relax, Ndudue. Let me enlighten you. Zenozo has nothing to do with Christianity, but has everything to do with our tradition and heritage as a people. The ancient initiation is a covenant that ensured that initiated members could no longer lie or at any point subvert the cause of justice. Now what I told you from the beginning, it was created for the administration of justice. <laughs> Amara, uh, you and uh, you have not told me anything at all. <laughs> Nze, what have I done to you? Why are you doing this to me? Nze, you're old enough to be my father. Oh, oh, forget about my look, but I'm not your father. I'm not a father. Something else can still happen in between us. <laughs> and then... Listen. This is to solve your problem. Thank you. Uh, come and meet me in my hotel room tonight. I will still add more for you. Just come. Okay? <laughs> this is it. Look at you. Amara, this is it. You should be ashamed of yourself. What have I done? Why are you pointing at me? Hey, Amara, be going. Don't listen to this village church rat. Church rat? Yes, you are a village because church Because you want rat. to take my girlfriend. I'm a church rat. Look at you, old man. By the way, why should old I be man. here listening to a fool like you? What's wrong? What is going on? What, what rubbish is this? Yes, yes.
Chidi. Prince of my land, thank God you are here. What troubles you? My prince, my heart is pained. I'm hot deep down. He just collected my girlfriend and oppressed me with his power. Someone oppressed you with his position and power. Who could that be? Zobiora. He just snatched my girlfriend. I have been suspecting them. But right now and here, I just confirmed everything. The same one Zobiora, the one that I know. Yes, my prince. Those useless men are not in near the Nauzo. A bunch of idiots destroying this community. Um, calm down, Chidi. I I hear you and I feel your pains. Eh? I know you're hurting. But let me advise you. Know it today that a woman who is made for you would never leave you. No matter how much is placed on the table. Do you hear me? I know you're hurting, my friend. But I also pray that the gods bless you with a better woman. Huh? Remain calm. Remain calm. Remain calm. My prince, if only we still have the truth in this community. The truth is dead. The mighty now oppress the little ones like us with their power and money. Too bad, my prince. It's too bad. Chidi, your allegations are weighty. <laughs> The truth is not dead in Omongene, Chidi. Eh? I pray that God will keep you alive so that you can live and witness the restoration of the truth in our land. Thank Inugu? you, my prince. Eh? Yes, my prince. Wayo, take it easy. Thank you, my prince. I shall handle this. Eh? Go home. Son, your face is not okay. Uh, what is the problem? Father, there's something I would like to discuss with you. All right, go on. I hear that you are about to confer the prestigious Zenon's title. on one of the elders in a few days? Of course, yes. He is one of the industrial sons of Omungene. And that young man has really made us proud in the past. Do you have any problem with him? Father, why do you allow these things happen on your watch? I don't understand you. Father, what happened to the ancient process of initiation into the prestigious Zenozo group? But the reason I'm asking is simple. If you have paid attention, you will notice that the Zenozo has now been reduced to a mere chieftaincy title that can be conferred on anyone who can afford it? No, come on, son. You are more educated than this. I don't expect you to still believe in that hidden practice of Zenozo title like Eka Manila or so. Huh? I'm still a Catholic member. Do you? I'm also Catholic. I'm your son. <laughs> So that makes me a Christian like you, Father. Yes. But a white man cannot take our tradition and culture away from us. But I don't know, man. It is what makes us thick as a people. I know. I know. That's our value. You know that the Zenozo has nothing to do with Christianity. Okay. Nothing at all. Okay, if the people insist that they do not believe in the so-called heathen practice, then let them stop taking the title. 
Because that is why we have right now a crop of rotten and abominable members of Unzenozo in Umungene. Dad, look around you and see what is going on. And these men call themselves Unzenozos. Unzenozo type. Dad. I can't understand you. A few minutes ago, I got a report by a young man who was pained, very disgruntled, and I inquired what the problem was. And he told me that Uzobioro and Uzenozo took his woman from him. I thought that was quite alarming. And then I cried further, only to find out, Father, that Uzobiora, a titled man, had offered this girl money, took her to a hotel, and slept with her. Dad, it would interest you to know that the girl in question is the same age as Nzobiora's last daughter. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Are you serious about this? Dad, bring back the ancient practice of Nkamanile. Because if you don't do that, Father, these men will destroy Omongene before your very eyes. I will look into your complaints. But Omongene has evolved beyond that practice of the ritual of Eka Manile. This is a new age. Eh? And that practice, that old practice of ritual, Ozo's title, something, should be allowed to fade into oblivion. Uh. I will always disagree with you on this, Father, but you hold the aces. This is one of the problems I have with you. I do not know how many times I am going to tell you this before you will start appreciating that what I am telling you is the truth and nothing but the truth. What exactly are you telling me? Ikedinibo, you are too blunt. It is my style. And it works for me. I do not believe in running around in circles and beating about the bush. That's not who I am. Ndulwe, please. I do not wish for you or anyone else to preach anything else to me. Oh, do not try to dismiss me for you know I will not give you the space. Fine, you have good intentions, no doubt. But you should have waited until you are crowned before letting anyone know of your intentions. You should know this evil men will resist you with all the weapons at their disposal. Oh, well, I chose not to play that way. Because I'm not a cunning man. I'm sincere. I'm fighting for a just cause. I'm fighting for what is right. And the gods of our land will not let me down in front of my enemies. I do not know what may happen tomorrow. I am scared. But I do not want you to lose the throne. Mainly now that Umungene International Market is about to be commissioned. Ikejinibo, you are destined to be a king sitting on money. You shouldn't have started anything that will see you lose out. I will not lose out, so long as we have the gods in Omongene, the gods of justice. I am not afraid, and I shall not be let down before my enemies. We are talking of the elders that no longer discuss the affairs of the gods of Omongene. Tell me, how are you going to ever flog them into line? 
du lo ever came. <laughs> Have I ever told you that one of your most beautiful attributes it's your coinage of words, eh? Flog them into line. Because that is exactly what is going to happen. Eh? They shall be flogged into line by the gods that they have abandoned for reasons they cannot even explain. They shall be flogged into life. Nine. I am not practically happy the way you are handling this issue. And how am I handling it? The elders came here and told our daughter to forget about her marriage with the prince with the threat that if she allows herself to get married to him she will be excommunicated from Umogene Women Assembly and you're not doing anything why don't you want to discuss this with her? And that's supposed to have told us something The men that came here are not just elders We are talking about three men that practically rule this kingdom because they rule this kingdom on nine. We are going to allow them to ruin our daughter's happiness with their politics? Hello, Putife. Why are you not handling this like the man of the house? My daughter, with what is going on, you don't need any street here to tell you that you have to make up your mind fast on leaving that prince. He is not good for you. Says who, father? Is this why you have been avoiding me? You have gone to discuss with those elders and made up your mind on this? The only thing that can make a man relevant in his kingdom is to understand where politics is shifting to and he urgently shifts to that side. I am an Ichia in this kingdom and I am not going to go against the man in that situation. Father, I will not leave the prince. I love him dearly and I intend to stick with him forever. I have made up my mind. If I be more one than the other, all of my love and all of my love, I'm not even know who is him now. So, listen. You see, one thing I learned from my father is that no matter how. Much pressure I find myself under. I do not get distracted at all. <laughs> Walk and relax, eh? Relax. I shall be crowned king of Umungene Kingdom when the time comes, and nothing will change that. Um, listen, I would have to call you back. My very elegant sister just strolled in. Eh? Uh, let me give her some attention. I'm gonna. God. Huh? Asandins. Asadadi. Amalichamu. What troubles you? You're not smiling at all. Uh, is it that you woke up on the wrong side of the bed? You refused to tell me what the problem was. Now I have managed to find out. So tell me, what do we do about it? There is something I am trying to understand here. Are you telling me to my face that you will still go ahead and marry him? Even after knowing the crime he committed. Father, I will not let you or anyone else get this twisted. He did not commit any crime. Are you not going to call your daughter to order? Why is he insulting my personality? Father, I'm not insulting you and I never will. But you are working with the elders against your own daughter and that is not fair. Calm down. We clearly need to understand what is going on. There is nothing you have not understood. Oh. You are talking back at me because you are in love. No problem. You will know the true meaning of love if you fail to adhere to the elder's instructions. Nonsense. I will never give it up. I will never Nonsense. give it up. Nonsense. 
Let me, let, let, let me come back. No, here. Yeah. I actually think you're following this the wrong way. That is not how to talk to your father. I'm sorry, mother. But is it not obvious that the elders have briefed him? How would you know? Your mates are out there building careers for themselves and you're here talking back at your father because of the man. I do not like it. Mother, I, I, I thought you were with me. Yes. But once we're exposed to spirit arguments, we're supposed to change. Don't tell me you're not blinded by a man. No, mother, I, ne I never said I was blinded. I, I love the prince. Our marriage was scheduled to take place as soon as I passed out from NYS. And now that you have passed out, and we are getting prepared, the elders ruled that it would no longer happen. Why don't you concentrate on getting yourself a job? I, I can't believe you're the one talking, no. Well... I finally listened to your father and I agree with your eldest decision. If he wants to go back to hidden practices, he should find a hidden to marry. We're Christians, aren't we? Excuse me. I can't believe people can change this fast. So you really want us to sit here and discuss these men? They are not just men, my brother. These are men that can go all out to achieve whatever objectives they have set out for themselves. You know exactly how they operated while our father was here. So the least you could do is to try to have a problem with them. Fear not. But let me give you this assurance. I can handle this man. There's nothing to worry about. All right, they're just being insensitive. That's all. From what I gathered, it is not as basic as you sound. As sounds, it is very basic. What am I asking for? That I want to reenact the ancient practice of ekamanile, making a mark on the tongue of anyone who indicates interest in being a part of the prestigious Zenozo group in Umundele. That is all I've asked. So this is true. I was actually briefed, but I really wanted to hear it from you. How can you ever know such ambition? It is not an ambition. It is a movement that would entrench the truth in our land. Asanze. You're a princess, look around you. I see the crop of Zenozors that we have, a bunch of losers, liars, fosters, and deceivers. They have watered down the process, chippened it, monetized it. I made it available to anyone who can pay for it. Obrok, I see me. It is not right. All right? That nonsense has to stop. I honestly cannot believe this. That a well-traveled and a learned man like you, a graduate of Florida State University, would think of such? Even the Western people you talk about, Asa, these people have not ignored or neglected their culture and their ways. What culture are you talking about? That the development you would bring to your people during your reign is to bring back a forgotten pagan practice. That forgotten pagan practice will foster unity, peace and justice in our land. It is a good place to start. I refuse. I refuse to accept that. What is wrong with you? I mean, what makes you think that we do not already have that in this kingdom? You have to think about this again. You honestly have to. 
Because you cannot fight those elders. You will never win over them. I rest my case. I have made up my mind. If I be more uh, uh, Judging from all I have observed, I think there must be something else we must invent to frighten her. Something else like what? What we said is not even a threat. It's a statement of fact. If she disobeys us and allows that idiot to marry her, should we be excommunicated? And I am telling you that my daughter is not bothered about being excommunicated from the Umugene Women Assembly. To her, the body does not put food on anybody's table. That is what she thinks in her ignorance. But soon, she will understand that there are a lot of things that are superior to food. If any man decides to undermine the wishes of the elders in council, he will be crushed. And anyone who follows him must be crushed equally. Anyway, I will still talk to her as we speak right now. They are so attached to each other and it is not easy to get them separated so fast. Okay. Like I said, I will try. You are truly a different breed of woman. I don't know what that means. You flaunted the elder's instruction and you still came to the palace to see the prince. Only a strong woman can do a thing like that. My princess, this is not about strength. I, I love the prince mm. and I will support him in good and in difficult times. Wow, I'm impressed. Thank you, my princess. But you still have to talk to him. He cannot win the fight against the elders. He should stop this madness and ascend the throne in peace. Okay, my princess, but you don't have to be upset at your brother. I, I know he has good intentions. I, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't expecting anything less. For in truth, I know you will always support him. Of course. But I'm supporting him because he has good intentions and he wants to make our kingdom better. I am very, very disturbed with his long silence. He has had what we did, and still he has not called or visited any of us. That is not good enough. I don't know why that will be a problem to you. Is it ever possible for him to be a king in Umugene without our approval? He has been discussing with all the youth leaders. Who told you that? I am telling you what is happening. And we must confront him on that. Confronting him with what? That will order the halting of his marriage to Belinda? That will not make any sense. I think we should make him understand clearly that he is no longer going to emerge king in Umugene kingdom. That can only happen when we have decided on who to crown. As long as we have not settled that, uh, that will be making a big mistake. I'm really scared. Why are you scared? Because this whole thing has become more serious than I thought. Don't worry yourself. Things will, um, things will fall into place. Okay? And your sister. She doesn't even support you. She doesn't even support your radical reformation. Uh, so that, listen, this is not a radical reformation, all right? It would have been radical if I am introducing or smuggling in something that is totally unknown to my people. What I am doing is restoring a practice that some people connived to destroy. Why? Because they wanted 
shortcuts. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, but your one and only sister doesn't even support you. I wasn't I banking on Asanze's support. Whether or not I have her support is immaterial. Hmm? I know that you're doing the right thing. And you have my full support. You see why I call you my world? <laughs> I don't have to talk too much for you to get me. Thank you. This is why you're different from the rest. Hmm? Thank you for standing by me again on this one. Oh, oh my tax is here. You know I'll miss you, right? And I'll miss you too. Hmm? Come here. Take care of you. I will. I'll call you. Thank you. Somebody talk to the priest over. Seriously, that stubborn prince is a very big issue for us. Even with all the threatening uh, signal we, we have given. I mean, um, I expect by now that he will come on his knees begging the elders. Exactly my point. Mm. Honestly, I thought by now he would have come cap in hand begging us. But rather, he is ignoring us with contemptuous disregard, as if we are nothing. No worry, right? Uh, my fellow elders, I think what we should be discussing now is how to curtail his excesses. His excesses? I think. Let us give him an ultimatum of two market days and make it abundantly clear to him that his family will no longer produce the king. Mm. Mm. Talking of another family producing the king brings a question. What about the chief priest? The chief priest? Yes. The chief priest is only the eye and mouthpiece of the ancestors. He is not a kingmaker. And uh, we cannot allow him to get involved in the politics of Umungana. If he needs money for sacrifice, we make it that available to him. But if he wants to get involved in the politics of Umungan, we will resist that. Mm, the same goes to Ibezim, the youth leader. Just let us see how we can get him on our side. If he needs money as well, we make money available for him, to him. Zubiora. <laughs> I met a Lopetifa, yes, on my way to this place, and he told me he was coming from here. Uh, yeah, I invited him, and I especially told him to get his daughter, stay off the prince. I even promised him that the next king will marry his daughter, and I want us to make it a confirmation, in case if he asks. Any of you? Mm. Anyway, that's a brilliant one. <laughs> or oh, what do you think? Oh, 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 Thank you. Let me get water for you. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm. You look so tired. The elders are not happy with the prince. We all know that already. Judging from what is going on, nobody should be happy with him. You mean you 
left this house? Where are you coming from? Good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon, Mom. I have told her not to leave the compound until we understand what is going on. But you know, Glenda, she will not listen. Young lady, where are you coming from? I, 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 we're going to the palace. Palace what? Oh! That means you don't heed to the elders' instructions? Are you not ashamed of yourself that you are in love with a madman? A young man that claims to be well educated and well traveled, proposing such hidden practice? Is that not enough reason for you to know that he has gone mad? He has not gone mad, Dad. He hasn't gone mad. Then he must be consuming any of the banned substances. That will be the only conceivable reason for anyone to nurse the thought he has. Father, you're judging him in a hurry. He is a decent man. A young man who seeks to destroy the very foundation of his own town is the one you qualify as decent. He's hmm. a decent man. He's just being misunderstood. Oh, you are the only one that understands him. Good. Very soon, you will stop leaving this house. But then listen to me. I don't want to see the prince anywhere close to my house or see you anywhere close to him. If you do, you will not like what I will do to you for flaunting my others. Nonsense. Please come and you do my presence. Are you just going to sit there and say nothing, mother? Tell him Ike Dinigo is a noble man. A pagan man will be more appropriate. I feel so ashamed that my daughter is the one defending an illiterate who still talks about the gods. He is not an illiterate. He is a standard and well educated man from an American university. He is not an illiterate. He is not an illiterate. Why are they doing this to him? Elders of Omo. To what do I owe this surprise visit? And while you are standing, I like to think that seats like this were meant for men like you. Eh? Unless you now consider yourselves unworthy to sit on these chairs in your sinful garments. Yeah? Okay. We will ignore all your insults, for that is not the reason we are here. We have been taking it lightly with you because of our lazy We are here to give you an ultimate of two market days. To make up your mind and come to the elders of Umungene and apologize for daring to start what you have planned. Else. Else what? The throne will be taken away from you to a reasonable family. Yeah. You must apologize. Yeah. Especially to members of Uzenozo for alleging that they are not even initiated. And of course, you know that's a huge insult. And you are supposed to be apologizing by now with at least four cows. However, we will that for you. You better start making up your mind before we cripple you completely. Because I decided to restore an ancient practice founded by our forefathers. And you think that I am scared of all of you. Prince Ike Dinibo, I have an advice for you in a riddle form. Oku Bemeluno Zobolo, Kanoba. As a close friend to your father, I will advise you. This path you have decided to follow will only lead to your destruction. Mark that word. 
I want to be destroyed. Ichi, Chijoke. No, but Ichi. Yeah. What happened? Huh? If you think that you're only at war with the elders, you are up against the entire community that you are planning to take them back to their vomit. The youth of Umungen will soon visit you. These elders are cowards. That is what they are. No. I totally disagree with you on this. You are the one creating unnecessary problems in this kingdom. And it is high time you stopped before it's too late. Asanze. I take it from your utterance that you have no clue as to what is going on. Nothing is going on. I mean, absolutely nothing. The only thing happening right now is that you are too stubborn. Even mother complained about that before she died. Mm, mm, mm. Please, please. Mm. Please don't bring mother into this place. Please. I will go with you. Yes, I am prepared to go with you to beg the elders and also of the kingdom. I don't even mind we going now. Never. Never. Asan said never. I am not going to apologize to them. It will not happen. When father was alive, I told him about my plan and he gave me his blessings. I will not apologize to them. I will go ahead with my plans. Let them go ahead with their plans. And let the gods decide. I still cannot fathom this. What is wrong with him? So, after spending 10 solid years in America, he came back and still talking about the gods? I have made up oh. my mind. Oh, mine. Pegged it a heathen practice. And to a layman, it was explained as a pagan practice. In other words, paganism. But then men began to rise in Omongen. Wealthy men, men of substance. And then they wanted to become a part of the prestigious Zenos. But the problem though, was that these men were already Christians. Some of them Pentecostal, some of them Catholics, Methodist, Baptist, Anglican and what have you. So what they did was to criminally come together, connived and instituted a means by which they boycotted the ancestral process of Ekamanile, which is the foundational ritual that an initiate must go through to be a certified member of Zenozo. And that movement watered down the power of Unzenozo to a point where it now became a merit tense title that can be conferred on just anyone who can afford it. And that also gave rise to a set of fraudulent men that call themselves Unzenozo. Men who lie, men who sleep with other people's wives, men who come together to sell community lands, share the money amongst themselves, men who take money from dubious politicians and perpetuate evil in Omungene. That has to stop. Zenozo is sacred. 